Welcome to Southern Spain and welcome to Almeria Circuit. We're here today to ride the new 990 Super Duke. KTM say this bike is 96% new over the old 890 model. So it's a whole new bike. You can see, I mean, it looks like a Super Duke now. It's very difficult to tell this apart from the new 1390 Super Duke. It's more beefed up. Being a larger rider, I like the idea of a slightly bigger middleweight bike, which is still 180 kilos, you know? So this is still as light as its competitors, but it's been beefed up. It looks bigger. It looks more growing up, dare I say it. So in this video, we're going to be thrashing this bike around the local Spanish twisties. There's some incredible roads around here, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. So if you're interested in the new 990, stick around. Grab yourself a cup of tea and chop the roll the intro. Just about got out of time. Yeah. So. so here we are, time for the 990. It's been a hectic couple of days, what with the 990, the Super Duke on track this morning, and now we've got the 990 on a Spanish twisty road ride. But I just had the briefing in there, and uh, basically they're saying, the 990 is 96% new over the 890. So really, you know, it's, it's a completely new motorcycle. I think the only carryover parts is the brakes so the brake system uh, and the brake master cylinder they're the same which were on the the 890 gp let's call it not the 890r of course because that had the stylemas so this has got the same brakes as the 890 gp but even they're not exactly the same the carriers are different so i think we've got half a kilo saved on the carriers it's exactly the same headlight as what is on the super duke which is 750 grams lighter than the outgoing headlight and yeah, I know there's a lot of people don't like the headlight. I, in the flesh, I, I actually think it looks mean. I, I'm, I'm fully on board with that headlight. I was never keen on the, the 890 headlight, if I'm honest. A bit of a waggle to it. What I do like about the 990 is it's actually, and they've said it, they've, they've made it grow up. You know, it's very thin, small motorcycle, the 890. This is more of a, a substantial bike. They tried to make this more like the Super Duke, um, which is a bigger, more muscular bike. And for a bigger, larger, 20 stone, six foot two rider, I'm, uh, yeah, super happy that they've actually made this thing a little bit bigger and brought a middleweight bike out, which, you know, a larger guy, i.e. me, could now actually consider buying. So jumping aboard, it's got this very sort of familiar sort of look to it. I mean, it's, it's much more like the Super Duke than the 890 I mean, look at the width of it here, the tank, much more like the Super Duke. They've also said they spent a lot of time trying to make it more premium feeling. Um, yeah, and it does just feel nice. Turn it on, got a key, you've got new switch gear. It's the same, yeah, slightly different switch gear to what was on the, uh, the 390. You've got the buttons here to adjust your traction and your slip you've got adjustable wheelie control not just on or off Stop low medium and high sort of wheelie and then off so <laughs> the electronics package on this bike it's been seriously uh, overhauled throttle response sport anti wheelie high anti really high abs mode well we definitely want supermoto mode one thing i loved about the 890 was how wide and comfortable the seat was you've still got that really wide seat you know i've got a wide ass i'm 20 stone six foot two with an ass to match <laughs> and i've almost got all of my ass on this seat i'm not wearing this up my crack yeah riding position feels very very similar to the Super Duke actually it feels much more growing up than the 890 much bigger the ergos feel bigger thank you sir appreciate it got a really nice riding position as I say very similar to the Super Duke my feet are slightly behind my hips you've got you cantered forward a little bit for that weight over the front wheel plenty of grunt when you open the taps it's left Chris <laughs> I'll give it a rest while you show off. Oh, this is brilliant already. I haven't even played with the suspension yet. 
five levels of adjustment on the forks and they've reduced the amount of adjusters you've got you know you used to have like 10 clicks they just dropped it to five obviously same amount of range of movement but just you know more of a difference as you click it so rather than getting sort of overwhelmed by how many clicks you've got with five you're a bit more yeah, you're, you're a bit more sort of obliged and willing to play with it because you know it's easier to put it back to how you want it those brakes are actually really good actually they're not style but i think they're the jean one branded ones but there's nothing wrong with them they were good on the uh smcr not the smcr the smt same setup they, what they wanted to concentrate with on this bike the developer was saying one of the uh, product developers was the 890 was brilliant but it was a little bit flighty they wanted to add a bit more stability back into the bike and you can feel that it's it's much more stable than the uh, 890 machine much more stable and it's still it's still agile you know it's still agile but it's stable This is, uh, oh my god, this is, this is incredible. What a bike. They may have just made the 1390 redundant. This is, uh, <laughs> this is brilliant. Look at this scenery, look at these roads, smooth, brilliant smooth tarmac. Fantastic view. No track. Haven't seen a car yet. Haven't seen a car. <laughs> what a way to showcase a motorcycle this is. The worst thing is, it's made it even more difficult to choose Super Duke or 990. It's really hard. Leave it in third. It's, it's got the grunt to pull it out the corners. Loads of support under brake. I need to. I haven't even played with the clickers yet, and already I've got a pretty decent amount of support, even for a big. That <laughs> comes back on itself. 20 stone fatty. It's a track day or road ride? What I like is the brakes are sharp enough. I mean, I'm riding on roads. I ain't got bloody clue where I'm going. Fourth gear won't do it. And they've got enough bite to give me confidence that I can stop. If, you know, you've got enough feel and bite. So a little squeeze of the stoppers. And you know you're going to be able to stop all right. Oh, can't cope up with these buggers. This is the trouble when you can't. When you come away with the big boys of motorcycling, they do not hang around. They are fast. <laughs> I would consider myself a slow rider by any stretch of imagination. But I'm getting seriously gapped here. <laughs> Again. These are really tight, really twisty. Gearbox is beautiful. My big clumpers into third. Oh man, there's a lot of feel from the tarmac as well with these tyres. Bridgestone S22s, which I think is what the Super Duke had on it last year. So it's got S22s on it. Loads of feel. What a bike, what an absolute hoon machine. So what else is new with this bike apart from bloody more or less everything? 96% all new as I said. Aha, that's like the photo boys. 96% new. <laughs> Electronics obviously massively overhauled. To be honest, it, it feels. I mean, I, ne I never rode an 890R on roads like this. I mean, this puts my hill climb to shame. 
but there's certainly no way this feels any less agile than the 1250, sorry, the uh, 890R. But it feels like a Super Duke with just a little bit less grunt. And I think that's exactly what it is. The Super Duke, but with a little bit less grunt. So, photos and guffage done. Not the best corner to, to do it on, a real tight little nagery corner. But uh, the bike is uh, really, really impressive. Um, I mean, the 890R, or even the standard 890s, you know, it's a fantastic bike to ride. It's so dynamic, but uh, you can tell there's added stability with this one um but it, it just all works so well it's basically just feels like a super duke but with a little bit less power everything else it feels like a super duke they've done a really good job of making the 890 more like the super duke and then if you don't want that you want something a bit smaller you know you've, you've got the 790 now so you've got the 790 still you know an ongoing bike but this 990 I think it's definitely moved the game on. What is impressive me, I'm, I'm riding this like a sports bike. Because I'm having to move around on the seat, shift my weight around like a sports bike. You know, I'm doing all my braking on the front brake. I'm not trailing the rear in like I would, you know, on some other nakeds. You can really do all that braking up front, even with these, you know, rather cheaper, calipers let's call them there's still loads of feel loads of bite and just on them hard constantly there's still plenty there and if i drop it down to second i've got a load of drive out the corners i know i think this would shit all over <laughs> the street triple rs honestly it would shit all over that. I, I thought the 890R handled better than the Street Triple. And this has just brought a bit more stability. Like the Street Triple's got over the 890R, it had a bit more stability. But this has got, brought the stability back to the, the KTM corner. And still it has that agility as well. Look at that. Absolutely incredible roads around here. 123 horsepower. You wouldn't believe it. I would say it was sort of 135, 140 if I had to guess. I think because the weight of this bike is 180 kilos and it's got that addition, you know, because of that increase in capacity, it's got that drive, you know. That extra torque is what you want, that's what pulls you out the corners. Not so much horsepower. But it's the braking and suspension support which impresses. I mean, KTM know how to build a fun motorcycle. And with the Super Duke, even the 390, which there's a video to come on. I mean, that is also very, very good for the price point. And I know this has now sneaked up to almost £13,000 now, this bike. So, you know, it is, it is getting expensive and it's not even the R version and you can be sure there will be an R version coming, which will be even more. But, I'm going to say it's worth it. It's opened this bike up to a market, which I don't think it had before, to the larger rider, you know, because I couldn't buy middleweight bikes because they're physically too small. Whereas this, I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a little bit small for me, but ergonomically it feels perfect. Even, you know, because it's more beefed up at the front, it even feels pretty perfect. It even looks pretty good. You know, so you've got, this has really opened up that middleweight market to, 
the larger rider who loves the thought of a middleweight. They're working the gearbox on the power, but doesn't want to look like a gorilla riding a pit bike. This is the answer. When you're out with professional racers, a little old me. Hanging onto the rear of them. <laughs> Look at the blossom. What a gorgeous, gorgeous place. And not a car in sight. Imagine living round here with this on your doorstep. You know, you're not going to need your trap house, are you? Look, it's almost deserted. What's your lean angle, Johnny? Put it on to run. That's it, there you go. 48, 43, done me. 40. 40 to the right, 44, done. I think the sweet spot is what Chris Northover said to use. Street roll response, track mode for your electronics. And I think that extra click of compression and rebound I put in has helped. Times up. What I love is, you know, if, you, if it times up on you like that, you've got enough. You know, you've got enough extra brake to give it a bit more. The suspension copes with it. It doesn't dive too much, and the brakes are hard on the brakes constantly here. There's no fade. It's a real brilliant track bike for your Cadwell Parks and your Angler, Angle Siege maybe, Alton Park even would be alright. Brands Hatch, of course, not forgetting Brands Hatch. A scalpel. What do they call this? This has already got a name, hasn't it? Not the scalpel. Oh, no. I'm sure they had a <laughs> the butcher. <laughs> The Barber is a really nicely set up bike. You can see, you know, you've got the likes of Jeremy McWilliams working on these sorts of bikes. I mean, these things are built by racers. These things are built by people who know what they want out of a motorcycle and they know how to build a fun bike. Now this is... Absolutely. Incredible. Well, we've got uh, Junior with us. Hi, oh, Dad, all right? I'm getting, yeah, getting stung. You're getting stung? What's yeah. going on? Yeah. Don't know, Wasps. Yeah. We've had a, well, what an afternoon we've had on this. Wow. <laughs> I think that's, I don't know where to start really no. with that ride. I mean, I think this is the, I'm, the, I, I, we've talked about the Super Duke, but I love I love that Super Duke. But for me, this is a yeah. surprise package. Yeah, I, I think so. We yeah. thought like, oh, we've done the track day. That's the rest of the day is going to be yeah. like a bit of a sort yeah. of come down, isn't it? And then they wheel this out, <laughs> and you turn out the circuit, get on the road, and you're like, hello, this is all right, isn't it? I mean, it feels like the Super Duke to ride, doesn't it? Does. It does. It, it looks it, like it. It looks like yeah. it. You, the view from riding the bike looks like you're yeah. on the Super Duke. It's just got a little bit less grunt now, isn't it? It's, uh, Which I'm fine with for the road. You've got a ladybird on here, mate. Hang on, I'll just... People don't make shit bikes anymore. Can I say shit? You can say yeah. shit, mate, yeah. People don't make shit bikes anymore. That's the thing. And yeah. as soon as people realise that, I mean, if I will challenge anyone. I will challenge anyone to find the fault with this bike. However, I will say that as good as it is, yeah. I, didn't, I found the brakes a little bit, the, the lap progression, and when you were riding at 10 tenths, they were... They weren't. I didn't. I wasn't yeah, particularly yeah, you, yeah. fond of them. Well, they got the power, haven't they? They got, the they got a bit of feel, but yeah. they're a bit. They're a little bit on and off. Well. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. But they're saving that for the R version, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. They're holding a little bit back, a little bit. The 890 R was a fantastic bike, isn't it? It was, but it was a bit too. It was motard. It was yeah. a bit motardy. Yeah. This is. This has come full, full yes. like super duke, super naked type it's, thing. It's a proper super naked yeah. now, isn't it? And, yeah. and what I've been a big, big fatty. I, I love middleweight bikes. They're so much fun on the road. Yeah. But they're just like I don't want to be like a gorilla riding a pit bike. Do you know what I mean? And no, this actually this is, has a decent size to it. It's got some. It's got. Yeah. It's almost like it's got some girth, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's got, it's yeah. got some girth. Yeah. So we're getting a, a, a. We I asked for a thirteen ninety super duke long term this oh, year. Did you? Yeah. And uh, they were like, yeah, no problem. And then Dom turned around and said, are you sure you want the 990? I went, no, 
of course I don't want a 990. <laughs> yeah. And then now I'm thinking... Well, maybe I do. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm going to be... It's going to be predominantly road. Yeah. Oh, I don't... You, yeah. That is a perfect balance of uh, power and, and weight and everything else. You know, I said... Again, I said on the vlog, on the, on the helmet cam, KTM and, and refinement aren't two words no, that you no. put together, but that yeah. is... I'd yeah. happily put it, anyone who's new to riding on that because yeah. it is so smooth. And you're sort of nitpicking when you say the brakes. I mean, yeah, of course I am. Do you know, when you yeah. ride any other bike, and you'd be like, we don't like that, that could be yeah. better. But it's, yeah. it's the package is it's so there, you, yeah. you, you end up nitpicking, don't you, to find yeah. something wrong with it. And Yeah, I thought it might be good. They <laughs> put, it is bloody good. 96% new from the 890. It is incredible. So uh, if you want to see a little bit more Al's thoughts, I'll put a link to the 44 Teeth video below. But uh, she's a beaut. She's a beaut. She's a beaut. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Pops. Let's go and get some food. Oh yeah. Is it through that cone and between the barrel? I know how to build a fun motorcycle. Look at that, Akopovich. <laughs> I can't wait to hear it. Not let him ride it. We can't have Chad on camera, he'll be, charge, he'll be charging me. Any, any, anything longer than 20 seconds, he, he invoices you. Yeah. Bonkers, 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 30 seconds is my, is my summary.